Hey, it's Kevin from JJ Hat Center in New York City. Uh, we're here since 1911. Pretty much the biggest, best, grooviest hat shop there is. So, we'll talk a little bit today about uh, choosing a hat, the different types of hats. When you go into a hat shop, what to expect, what to pick, what to do. Uh, fedora is usually the most commonly asked about hat. A lot of people like them, the classical, you know, the old movies, the black and white films and stuff. Fedoras, you have different shapes to the crown, and you have different size brims and different bands. That's the three elements. So, the brim, you've got big brims, medium brims, and short brims. Basically, the bigger brim is going to be like a two and a half inch, like this, or a two and three, which is almost a two and a half. A short brim will be about a one and a half inch brim. That's the temple, that's a uh, great, great set That's a look like a great hat. Here's the short brim. Okay, here's the short brim. This is a one and a half inch. This is a big brim. The two and a half inch. Alright, and then you got stuff in the middle. So the big brim look like that. This is called the Stetson with it. The Whippet has a special edge called a bound edge. That's the binding. It's got binding, it's a ribbon. There are basically three types of edges for fedoras. One is a bound edge, there it is. Ribbon on the edge. It gives it strength, it's also decorative. It looks more like a kind of a gangster-y finish. 1940s. Look. All righty. The second one is going to be a raw edge. A raw edge is basically like it sounds, it's just raw. Just like it's cut with a scissor or a razor blade. It's basically how they do it. You can see it's not the strongest. It's the, stem, the, the temple by Stetson. Very thin brim, raw edge. It's not going to be as good for keeping its shape in the, in the rain, but people love the look of it. For me, I would do a bound edge for the stability. The raw edge, people love the looks. Like I said, it's not as stable. There is a third choice though. The third choice is called, anybody know? Mm -hmm. Bound edge, raw edge, what's the third edge? Oh, under stitched edge. That's under right, a welted edge, stitched edge, right. Well, it's it's oh. called a welted edge. Under welt or over welt? Now, a lot of new hat wearers hate this because the cheap hats, all the cheap entry level things have a welted edge. It's folded over and, and hemmed, sewn over. So that basically gives it more strength and it keeps it straight. Look how straight that brim is. It's strong. All right, so yeah, those are good. They look more old fashioned, like an old Frank Sinatra era hat. This is the medium brim, this is a two inch. It's called the Stetson Saxon which is really popular. That's a Sinatra model. Frank Sinatra used to wear these little short brims. Great hat. Um, I'm also wearing a brand new Stetson. This is called the Tri-City. This has a flat brim. Very, very unusual to see a hat with a flat brim. It's uh, something new. This hat also comes in this color. Silver belly. Incredible hat, brand new for 2019. Rainproof. Uh, these hats are made out of beaver and rabbit. They're fur felt hats. They use beaver because the beavers swim in the water in their whole lives and they're basically waterproof beasts. Uh, and that's, that's about it. Uh, the, the next video we're going to work on uh, talking about some western hat styles and cap styles but uh, stay tuned. There will be a lot more content coming. And don't forget to subscribe and do all that uh, groovy YouTube stuff. Kevin.